Okay, hey everybody, it's Carol with Refunction Crafts, and today I'm going to make a um, hanging pocket. So this is my first time ever making one of these, and so um, we don't expect it to be perfect today. <laughs> so just uh, go along for the journey with me. We'll all learn together. I've watched a few videos on this and I absolutely just love these wall hangers. And I thought, you know, I'd really like to make one of these um, and, and see how I can do and hopefully make some more in the future as well. So anyway, this is some of the good stuff we're going to put into this and you can see it's going to be beautiful. Not all of this will go in here, obviously. I even have a pile over here of things I'm going to show you. But um, anyway, I thought that we would give this a try today. So um, before I get started, I'm going to read my inspirational quote for the day. Surround yourself with people who illuminate your path, who push you to dig deeper, who make you happy, who make you laugh, who pray for you and support you even in the hard times. Those are your people. And I'm just going to say, um, you guys are my people. And so um, I want to thank you all for coming on my journey with me. And yes, this is a journey for me. This is something that um, makes me very, very happy to do. And um, I get excited every time I come up with a new project, especially something like this that I've never done. And I enjoy teaching other people how to craft, even when there is something like this you've never done before and you decide you're going to take it on. I'm not afraid to try anything new. I love new projects and new things. So uh, for me, it gets me excited when I come up with something that I've never done before that I can um, take a shot at. So um, again, these are some of the items that we may or may not be using in this. I've got a couple of really pretty bows here. And today, you guys, I'm going to keep my camera in the old position that I used to use. I'm finding that since I've been flipping, um, unless I flip this and it looks good, um, because I did sort of change the angle of my camera, so maybe that will make the difference, but if it doesn't, I'm going to leave it so that you guys are looking at my hands in the opposite direction, just because I want you guys to see this um, the right way. So. Um, these are some bows. I'm going to hold things kind of sideways for you. I'll hold them always. <laughs> um, those are just some that I had made already. I've got uh, lots and lots of flowers, mostly my handmade flowers because I wanted this to be a project that was um, more done more with handmade items. And these are all flowers, uh, I think, Besides this one, this is one that I got from Gail over at Fava of Four, which is really pretty. It's got little clear beads in it um, all over, and I don't know if you guys can see those or not. They're barely visible, but when you when you move it, it sparkles. So um, the rest of these, though, are all ones, mostly ones that I've made. So those are anyway. And then I've got a couple over here that this one I got from Debbie over at um, Kiki Sale, and this is super beautiful. Um, so I'm hoping to find a good spot to put that in. And then I got this from Debbie at Kiki's as well. She always sends me such beautiful, beautiful flowers and things. I just, I don't know what I would have done without her getting started and... Um, between the two of us we work together and you know help each other out and she's a good and honest person that I trust and have gotten to know quite well um, lately I feel like I haven't really talked to her as much as I used to and I think that's partially because I've had to go back to work and I don't have the kind of time I used to have um, but I am trying to keep up with my videos and my store and my job and all of those things. So it makes it harder for me to have conversations with people that I dearly, dearly 
care for and and you know it it's hard you know it kind of makes me sad some days uh, when I see something come across from them and I think wow I haven't talked to them in a while um, but anyway these are some beautiful laces um, bits and pieces that are cut off from wedding dresses I got this one from Deanna Grooms isn't that gorgeous she sent it to me all cut out and perfectly perfectly uh, ready I got this from Deanna and I thought wouldn't that be pretty oh goodness I've got something starting to unravel here and I can't let that go so let's get some hot glue under those pearls right there so that they don't continue to try and unravel I'm going to cut this little piece of thread off here So this is just gorgeous. I thought this might be really pretty hanging from somewhere on this piece. Um, we'll put those back there. I've got this little piece of pink lace that I thought, you know, maybe maybe I'll find a spot for it. I, I think it's so pretty, and I have used it in a few things, and this is all I've got left of this. Um, but it is super pretty. And then I've got some some clear pink and clear clear little pearls strands here I've also got my bag of pearls that Deanna sent me and this is long long string and these are um, pearls that I can cut wherever I want and they're not going to fall off and I have an idea for how I'm going to use these already those are pretty for sure going in I've got these. I need to go through this a little faster though because look at this piece of lace. This is very, very delicate. It's embroidered and it's super delicate, but isn't that gorgeous? I got this one from Deanna as well. And I got this from Deanna and this. I love this because it's got lots of sequins and pearls in it and all of the pieces she sent me are just gorgeous. I showed you the doily. Um, I've got this piece as well. Isn't that gorgeous? And I can't remember. I don't know if I got this from Deanna. I think I did get it from Deanna in the stuff that she sent me or it's either Deanna or Gail over at Fava 4 because Gail has sent me a lot of these kinds of uh, bits and pieces as well and then there's a little strand of this pearl trim this piece of lace is one of my favorites look at how gorgeous that is I absolutely love this and I love the Venice laces now I know what did Venice means um, because I I did get finally get somebody to um, message me and tell me exactly what the deal is with people when they call it Venice lace what does that mean because I honestly did not know I've got this little piece of pink I've got this, which is absolutely stunning, that I got from Deanna. Deanna sent me this one, which is gorgeous. And I have, I have a, a package that I just got from Gail over at Fava 4 with some more laces and things, but um, I didn't pull those out because I already had this project sort of ready to go. So I'm using what I initially uh, came up with. I showed you some of that. I've got some of this lace which is wedding dress lace and look at how beautifully it's all cut out this is one that I got from um, Diane Giroux and look at how beautiful this is I love this lace so much and this is a small piece that I have left of what she sent me I've used most of it um, and I do have this small piece left and I'm thinking I may try and use it in this piece again we'll have to wait and see what what falls where and then when I get to a point where I can't add any more I've got some dangly lace 
this is super pretty and I know I do want some parts to to dangle on this so I've got that this is a gorgeous lace and this is in more of a cream color but super duper pretty I love this lace and this is the last piece of this that I have you can see it's kind of cut off at the end here I've used some of the bits from the top pieces of this but I do have enough that if I wanted to go across the front I could so I've got that these are just some cutoffs and some strips that I made from some chiffon that I have um, this is uh, actually some chiffon fabric that I've had for a long time and I finally got it out and started cutting it up and found a use for it and man is it the best fabric ever for making those strips out of I've got um, these flowers that I also got from Diane Giroux, I believe. I'm sorry if I'm incorrect about that, um, but I'm pretty sure that's where I got these from. And a little bit more of my pearly lace. And then here is a uh, piece that I thought might go in here nicely gorgeous I just love bits like this and I, I don't know you know I was kind of thinking see but I don't want to cut this when I use it I kind of want to use the whole thing in one project I mean it would be beautiful put like in the center of that but I think I've got other bits that I could use to do the same thing without having to cut this one up um, and then just some snippets. Here's another dangly lace that I have. I got this from Gail over at Fava 4. She sent me a whole bunch of um, different dangly laces because she heard me talking about how much I like to have them to use in my projects. I like dangles on things. Here's a little piece of uh, lace with little bows in it. pretty and then I've got a little piece of this which I don't know if I'll use it or not that's more of a snippet and then I have this and I just took this out the other day and I cut along the outside because there was organza or some some fabric along the the outside of this so I cut it down and then I pulled it and I turned it I turned it shabby and I really love the way this turned out and I've had this piece that I got from Gail um, and this is a piece that I've had for a while and been trying to figure out okay how can I use this here we have a heart doily which is really pretty it's got a little bit of a spot on it so I don't think I'm going to use this although I it's like a like somebody started to stain some stuff and this got caught up in some of the stain is what it looks like um, but what I could do is if I did decide to use it I can put something over that spot you know and it would be gorgeous in there so I may use it and then I've got just some basic laces here as well that are off to the side and some other strips and things um, that I've cut off of pieces I have a little piece of this this is the last piece of this that I really have left that has very many of these dangles on it and I do love this I don't know whether I'll use it on this or not because I do like cutting these out individually and using them on different projects. So I've got this beautiful bow that I got um, in Happy Mail. And then what we're going to do is, oh, and then here are some blingy bits. I got, let's see, I've just got a bunch of pretty bits now I don't know whether I'll use these or I may pick something out from some other stuff this one I just love and I've been looking for the right thing to use it in um, and I it hasn't come along yet but I don't know this might be a perfect thing to put that in so we'll have to see where how this comes along and then this is what I'm going to hang it on I thought I had one of those little silky hangers you know that just has the bar that goes across here that's wrapped in silk I did have one at one time 
um, that you can, you know, make, they're all fancy and everything, and you can turn it into, you know, something really cool with when you're making the hangers. And I, since I didn't have it or I couldn't find it, this is a hanger that my mother-in-law made for me. Um, she made me a whole bunch of these, and she made these um, the year before she passed away as Christmas gifts for all of us girls. So each one of us, she made like six of these hangers for. And so, or not six, oh, she must have given me, I must have 10 or 12 of these anyway. This is one of those hangers, and I thought she would love that I would use one of her um, pieces in a video. If she was around today to see, you know, how fun, how much fun I'm having with my YouTube channel and everything, she would be here right next to me having lots of fun too. So anyway, this is the hanger that I'm going to use to hang this on. This is my base, and you guys, I went ahead and I put this together. Um, on the edges and the the bottom is closed and then this little piece this is a piece of fabric that I got from Gail over at Fava of Four I cut this piece out of it fringed it on all the edges and I did glue it down the the center to start my pockets and I thought well I better stop at that and the rest I'll do on camera so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start uh, gluing this down and I'm just going to take and put a stripe of glue. Hopefully I've got enough to do this edge. I'm getting to the point where I need to put a new glue stick in my glue gun. And we're just going to glue these pockets down. I have my glue out here. You're going to need lots of glue to do one of these. So I took some glue sticks out. I have a... I actually just have a little jar here that I keep my glue sticks in and I think I'll just pop those back in there and I'll put it close by. I've always got this close by but I'll put it even closer this time. And then let's go ahead and do this side and this will prevent it from further fringing too because this fabric, oh boy does it fringe. Awesome. And then we'll get the bottoms of the pockets. like that and we'll go along the bottom here I just love these wall hangers these pocket wall hangers I think they are super cool um, the other thing I have and I'm not going to do it on this one I'm going to make another one of these Gail over at Fava 4 sent me some pockets um, from jeans and some different ones that she had around um, and this is op this opens on the inside so you've also got the bag um, that you could use to put other stuff inside of so um, I thought that would be kind of fun too so this is only going to have these two pockets um, unless something comes along and I think, oh, you know, I could turn that into a pocket. I've got some things like, you know, some different doilies and things that I could put on there and kind of turn those into pockets, but I don't think I'm going to do that today. Um, so anyway, oops, more glue sticks. So anyway, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to start making this beautiful. These these are just um, strips of ribbon that I cut and I folded it down and just glued it at the ends and this is going to hold these on to the hanger just like that. And I did wide strips. I wanted them to be nice and wide. And they're probably going to come down to the edge of this hemline that I have here. And ah, oh, I can't believe it. I put that on the, the other side. I meant to put that pocket on this side because this was the prettier side. I can't believe I did that, but that's okay. This side looks fine too. It's all right. So we're going to come down to about the hemline here. 
and really I should I should make these a little bit smaller because I don't want them to hang too far from the hanger. So I think what I need to do is I need to cut those down about that much more. And we'll just cut this one exactly the same. Right about there. Okay. And then I'm just going to take this and turn it up. And there we go. And then I'm going to measure this one next to it so that I know how much to fold this one up, which is not going to be much. I must have cut this one a little smaller. But that's okay. I'm putting that glue right on the very edge. And I'm just going to fold it over very gently. And there we go. They match. <laughs> I got lucky on that one. Okay, but we're not going to do that right now. We're going to save that part for later. It'll be too hard to work with this if I've got it on the hanger now. So let's start playing with our embellishments and see kind of what we want to put on here and how and all that good stuff. Um, I think, let's see, I've got two pieces of dangly trim. I've got this one, which I think is my favorite. This is one that Deanna sent me. And then I've got this one. And I'm, I may use both of them, actually, but I think what I want to do is I think I may use this one at the bottom. And then this one... I'm thinking might look good either across there or across the top, but I think I want it to go maybe there. And this is where I get messed up because I start changing my mind about everything. That definitely not. I think I want that piece to go somewhere up in here. Um, let's see. A piece of that would be so gorgeous going across there, but that's, it still needs something at the top as a trim to go across there. Uh, let's see, I've got some pink lace. And I think that will go somewhere up there so that we can break up the colors and have some pink. I want some pink up in here, too. Um, I do have this. But that's a little bit too big, I think. I feel like that's just too big and it's going to cover up some of this nice detail. Although some of this detail is going to get covered up. This is not the piece I'm as worried about as making the, the rest of it fall into place the way I want it. So I've also got this doily here. I thought initially it would be pretty to have something like this to sort of come up like that. And if I do, I'm leaving the back pretty much blank on this. I'm not doing really any decorating on the back, just so you guys know. Um, but this would be pretty just kind of coming up like that. I really kind of like that. 
Um, yeah, I think I'm I think I'm gonna use this. And I'm just gonna cut it along here. So we're just gonna go along the, the natural fold there that we had initially. And that way I have the other half to use on another project. Okay, so I want to make sure I sort of get this in the center and I think I do want to kind of fold that over. to give it a clean edge. And then this lace on the edges will just stay the way it is. And I'll glue it down. And I think I'm going to go ahead and let some of that fringe just hang out right there. So let's go right along here. I want to make sure that I don't... Um, it's probably okay down here at the bottom. But I do want to make sure that I don't glue up here and end up gluing this part to the inside, you know, and making the pocket not a pocket anymore. So I do need to be careful with that. Okay. Whoops. And then we will take and just And I'm putting a light amount of glue on here just to kind of save it from going through. Whoops. I don't want to glue this part down. Hopefully by the time I get this side glued down, that glue will dry. I wasn't thinking when I put the glue on there. Okay. So there we go. Isn't that pretty? All right. And there we go. That's not going to stick down. Okay. Very good. And you can see we've still got our two pockets there. And maybe what I could do is just to kind of define those pockets, maybe put a little strip of lace kind of coming up to about right there or something. I don't know, we'll see. I've got this very, very thin lace but I don't think I want to use that right now. I have another purpose for that little thin lace. So, all right, that I can put aside. Um, this I'm going to save to put in another spot. So let's see here. All right. Maybe have that going across there. Or we could put that up there and have that going across that spot. I think what I want to do real quick though, 
because I'm pretty sure this is where I want this lace to go. I'm going to cut this right there. And we are going to put this across this bottom. And that leaves me with one little circle left. <laughs> there we go. And we will save that and use it somewhere else at another time. I'm just going to get this started there. And I don't have the uh, the names of the videos that I watched because I was just what I did was I sort of binged and watched a whole bunch of them. I did come across one in particular that I really liked, but the problem is is here's the thing: I was looking on Pinterest is what I was doing, and the all of the YouTube videos that came up came up through Pinterest which is kind of the same thing I do I put my I put my videos on Pinterest so that hopefully that way I can um, reach more uh, people that want to subscribe to my channel but the thing is is that a lot of the videos I don't know if you guys have noticed it but when you go through Pinterest a lot of those videos are 10 and 12 years old some of them and I just noticed something this little circle here is missing some dangles that is not okay so what we might do is we're gonna add this one <laughs> right over top because we can't have missing dangles and it fits right in there look at that nobody will ever know There. Okay. I like that a lot. That looks really, really good. See? Okay. And then I just need to come to terms with where I want this to go. And I, I'm sort of thinking I should probably put some dangly lace at the top but I think what I might do is take some of this pink lace like that and then maybe put this over top so that the pink kind of pokes through I, I like that I don't know if you guys can see it real well but you can see the pink uh, kind of coming through the top now I'm wondering I did have some darker pink lace but I haven't a clue where that might be let me look real quick in this bag that's next to me if it's not there we're just not going to worry about it oh I do have this oh I forgot I had this this came from Deanna Look at how beautiful that is. And what I could do is take this and sort of ruffle it across the top like that. That would be really pretty. Hmm. Or I could put this sort of center line and put it through here and ruffle it across here. It's a double lace. That would be pretty. And then I could have this dangling from the top and it will actually hit the top of this as well. So 
I'm going to start here. I'm going to start with this, and I have a nice long piece of this, so I'm confident that I will have leftovers because I really love this lace, and I um, I want to have some left over for other projects. So hopefully, let's see. I think we're going to put this right about there, and I'm going to start it. Let's see. I'm going to start it by, I'm going to turn it under right here. There. That way we've got a nice clean edge at the start. And I'll cut that little piece off. Okay, so let's start by putting this right here. Again, let me make sure this is going to sort of hang up to it. We're going to put it right there. Okay, that gives us our start. And I'm not going to over ruffle this, but here's how we're going to do this. I'll put some of this other stuff back here so I don't mess it up. I'm going to keep a glue stick real handy because we're sort of at the end of our glue here. And I'm just going to go like this. I'm going to lay it down there. Come on, Carol, get it together. And just sort of ruffle it up. And again, I'm not going to do, do it too ruffly. That's why I'm only doing small sections at a time. I watched a girl do this the other night on her video with some lace. And, man, she just went right across there, no problem. <laughs> I was like, how is she doing that without that, lay, that fabric just moving all underneath of her? But she did a great job. I'm going to see if I can find her video. I don't have a clue what her name was or anything, though. But it was a good video. Okay, just have a little ways to go here. And then to make sure that I have my, my pockets not glued together. scrunchy on this side but that's okay and look I still have a great big piece of that left and this side here I need to cut a little bit more off I'm going to turn this under and glue it down Oh gosh, I bet my head's been in there. Gosh darn it. That's what happens when I stand up to do something. My head gets in the picture and then you guys get to look at my my little skunk stripe because I need to color my hair. <laughs> okay, so there we go. I think that looks really pretty. 
I like that. And had I not watched that video, I never would have thought to do that. And then this one here. Okay. Got two choices. Let's see. I could go like this and put this down and then take the pink over the top. The only thing I don't like about doing that is that I'm covering up part of the prettiness of that lace and that bothers me. The other thing I could do is I've got this other light pale pink that I could go across here and then I'm not hiding any detail and that looks really pretty I think. It's very subtle. Um, I really just didn't want to use this. Oh, wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Where is it? I had something else that I was going to put across there. Question is, where did I put it? Oh, here it is. I think that's what needs to go across there. Maybe not. Maybe that should go there. Ooh, that looks pretty going across there. Or it could sort of go across the middle of that. No, we can't do that. Um, the thing is, is if I use this at the top, I have to wait a little while. Because I have to put the strips on here still. And what I will probably do is have that go between the strips. You know? Um... So I will wait to put that on, but we are going to go ahead and put this trim on. And what I want to do is I'm going to tuck it under here. Okay. And I'm going to sit down so that I quit putting my head into the camera. And we're just going to go right across there and lay that down. There we go. And then I'll cut that, let's see, right about there and I have a little piece of that left and I don't think I'm going to turn that under because it's right up to the edge there and that's going to be just fine. Okay, let me get these here. Like that. And there. That just kind of dangles right over the front of that pink lace. That looks really pretty. I like it. And then once this is gone across there, look at how pretty that's going to be. Okay. So, now let's get busy here. Getting creative. Okay. So I've got this, and this would actually go very nicely with this doily behind it. Isn't that pretty? I think I'm going to cut this off right here. Because we don't need that other little piece that's at the top. It looks like a separate little piece anyway. And that just goes right up to there and right down to here. And I think that is gorgeous. And I just have to tell you guys, I need to say thank you to all of the, the people who have donated such wonderful, wonderful bits and pieces to my channel to help me to be able to create such great projects um, 
for my videos. If it wasn't for these people that have sent me all of these beautiful laces and things, my goodness, I would be creating just really basic, more basic um, things, which is fine too. And that's kind of how I got started, was just creating little basic stuff. And I would still be doing it. Um, but I wouldn't be able to do the kinds of things that I am able to do with all of these gorgeous laces and the bling and all of the great stuff that I have to work with. So I thank you guys so much for um, just being so generous and send, sending me so many beautiful things to work with. I, gosh, I don't know what I'd do without you guys. You've really, really helped me and my channel a lot. Okay, so I did find some lace to use for these sections. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to glue that in there. I'm going to, I lifted this up a little bit because I'm going to put that underneath the doily there. So I just need to get my glue gun in there, however that may be. And pop that down. And then already I need to add more glue to my glue gun. <laughs> Let's see here. And then we're going to turn this piece under. Just like that. Okay. Now let's get the other side. down and we'll turn this piece under just a tad like that this is not as easy as it looks sometimes when you're trying to get all your edges just right I gotta cut that little spot off. Okay. I know. Where did I put my little bag of snippets this morning? Right here. I have some small snippets from this morning and those would be cute just kind of putting one on each side here I kind of like that so we're going to add those I need to put them on the right side right kind of dead center there and like that okay so there's that and I need to get in here and also figure out where I'm going to put my flowers and things so that's the other consideration that I have to make here. Okay, so here's some of my shreds. Um, 
and I want to add a little bit of ribbon so we're going to add some white ribbon in here and I think I'm just going to cut some smaller pieces of this off a little stain on that piece of ribbon. I don't know how that got there. And let's see, we'll cut one more piece of this off and save a little bit of that so I can make a couple of white ribbon roses later. And I think I'm going to take this and I'm going to put that right there. And then this, what I'm going to do, I want to see how long I want these to flow. And I really, really kind of need some, I don't know if I have any pink ribbon, you guys. I do not have any pink ribbon. Is that crazy? Let's see if I have some over here. I sure don't have any pink ribbon, you guys. Um, maybe I can throw a little peek a piece of this pink lace in there. And what we'll do is we'll just kind of put this, I really didn't want to use this, but it's got some thread in it. And that piece of thread just does not want to go away. I'm not going to glue that down yet. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make our bow. I'm going to start, I'm going to leave a nice long tail here. I'm going to start up here and this is very, very long shreds, you guys. This is, I've got a lot of it. I'm going to make a couple of loops here and a couple more loops. And hopefully, in the end, it's going to come out the way I want it to. Yeah, so here, I've got it pretty even on the bottom. And I just need to take a small piece of this shredded fabric. So that I can tie it around here. Just a six inch six inch piece. I'm going to tie it around all of this, getting it right in the center. Okay, so there's one end. Making sure I'm not grabbing the other shreds instead of this little piece. Just going to tie it in a knot. I love, love, love this chiffon fabric. It falls so nice and it's so soft and, and just really, really nice fabric. So there we go. We have a nice pretty bow. And I think I'm going to put this 
lace piece I'm just going to sort of glue this to the back of the bow. Well, I want it to show. So I want to make sure I have this lace so that it can kind of hang, can kind of come forward a little bit. Oh, that's so bright though. That is just not the pink that I wanted. Maybe I just need to leave my bow white. I think that's what we're going to do because I feel like I'm going to sort of ruin it. I do have a piece of this fabric cut up. What I could do is I could take this and sort of put that in the background like that. That looks good. I think that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to take this little piece of shred. I've got another one here that I can tie around the center of it. I could just use, you know what, I'm just going to use a piece of this white because it's not going to show. And try and get this tied before the whole thing comes apart. There we go. And then I want to leave a little bit of looseness in there so that I can kind of pull and tug at this so that I don't have big pieces. Where's the other side? Oh, it's right inside there. That one's actually good. I think I'm just going to cut off the edge of that. There we go. Okay, so we just have a basic little bow. It's a big bow, I should say. I'm going to put that at the top there and glue it down. And that gives us a little bit of at least somewhat of a pink base to, to start with. And we'll put that just below there. And I think that looks really nice. And then we'll have to find something for the center of our white bow. And maybe for that, I can come up with one of maybe these pink roses. That one looks really pretty with that. I have another little white bow here I could put in the front and have that that coming up through the front but it does sort of cover up this bow a bit <clears throat> excuse me I've also got this oh this pink bow would be pretty right there with a little pink rose or maybe a little white rose in the center that would, oh, I know what I had. Oh my goodness, what did I do with it? I had, I have um, some flowers that I plan on using on this in the center of where the bow is going. There they are, they were hiding from me. See, I could have added that in there, but it's just the wrong pink. And I was planning on using that, but after looking at it, I realized it's just wrong. It doesn't go with the rest of this. So these are just some uh, flowers that I got from Gail that I thought would look really pretty with that section. I can't put that in there either there or you know they could come down here somewhere or they could go up there but it really does look nice there so I'm going to go with it because I fully intended on using this
on this piece. Wow, that went flying. So we're just going to divide that bow a little bit. I'm going to get some glue down. A nice big dollop of glue. And press that in there. And I think I'm going to add a little more glue right at the stem. And we're just going to hold that down. Okay. So there's that. That looks really pretty. I'm going to toss those aside a little bit. And maybe what I could do, haha, I could add couple more flowers in with this. I've got this little these little velvet flowers. Those actually look really nice in there. And they're very, very pale pink. I like that. Yes, I do like the addition of the pink flowers in there. It's it needs something to kind of break it up a little bit. Yeah. So, we're going to put a whole lot of glue on this one, and we're going to pop it right in there, and I'll put a little glue down right there, and pop the little rosebud in there. And then what I'm going to need to do, because I can tell this is going to kind of weigh things down a little bit right here, I need to glue some other portions of this down. So we'll go with that pink bow and press that into it real good like that. And maybe take these leaves up here and do a little bit of the same. There we go. Okay, super pretty. Well, I'm going to stop here for a little bit and come back and finish this. Okay, um, let's see. I'm gonna give it a few minutes here and see what I can come up with, but I really feel like I need to do some soul searching here figure out how I want to do the rest of this. Okay, so let's see if we can finish this bag now. Um, and I didn't, I haven't glued any of these on, just so you guys know. Um, what I did do off camera though, and I'm sure it won't hurt your feelings too much, <laughs> is um, I, um, what did I do? Oh, I found some pink lace that I was able to add to this and I found one strip of pink ribbon that I put in with the bow. So now it feels the way I wanted it to look. Isn't that gorgeous? So anyway, let's pop that aside because we're going to work on this section here right now. Um, and I was looking at this middle section as well, right here. I wish this wasn't so V-shaped because I was thinking that would actually be kind of pretty there, but I'm trying to find the other one that I have here. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, oh, I should have had it before I did this. Well, I could take a piece of this and cut. I feel like I need to break up that pink just a little bit. So I'm sort of struggling with this section here. And if I did that, look at how pretty that looks. And then I know I'm going to get something, a little something over in here. Um... But I'm trying to find that other applique that I have. 
And I know I had it right here just a few minutes ago. Here it is. Here's the other one that's sort of V-shaped, but it's not quite as dramatic. There again, I've got to do this so that those can still hang, but that might be pretty there. Kind of then we've got the two points kind of pointing at each other. I think that actually looks very pretty like that. I would use this, but I'm trying not to use this up. So I really love this lace and I love to be able to use bits and pieces of it. Um, I think I'm going to go with this. I think I'm going to go ahead first before I do anything else. And I'm going to glue this on here. And we'll just kind of dot some glue around Ooh, without getting these in there. Because I still want those to be able to hang. Oops, there I go again. Putting my head in the camera. Yay, yay, yay. There we go. Okay. So now I've got that in the center and I didn't cover up my little dangles there. Cuz I definitely want those to be able to to dangle. Okay. Let's let's do this thing. All right. So we're going to take this piece here and pop it right there. So I'm going to start gluing that on. Oops, I'm sorry you guys. that in there. And I've got a piece of this that I want to put on this side as well. It's a little bit smaller piece, but that's okay. And again, this is that beautiful lace that I got from my friend Diane Giroux. She sent me some of the most beautiful laces. And I've almost gone through it all at this point. I've used most of it, but I've still got a few little bits and pieces here and there that I can um, pull from every now and again. And I'm going to pop this piece. This is a different lace, but I'm going to pop this piece right here, just sort of coming off from that one. We'll lay that right there. And then I've got this piece, but somehow, <laughs> let's see. I wonder if I used one of these little flowers with it. If I could put that in that corner. And I lifted that, this piece up because I don't want to put anything over the top of that. I want to keep that the way it is. So I am going to take this piece of lace here. I 
guess I ought to get the edges here, right? <laughs> and I'm going to pop that down there. And then I'm going to pop this right back down over the top of that. And then take this little flower and put it right there in that corner. Right there. And I've got this little piece that I could have kind of coming out somewhere. just pop that in right there just because it's just a little tiny piece and it does add to it so all right so that's that and now we're gonna pop in some flowers I think I'm gonna go with these flowers here just about like that I'm going to put them in real close and tightly together. So let me start. I really feel like I, I'm kind of bummed because I am going to cover up some of that great applique. But I'm going to try not to do too, too much damage. Sometimes there's just nothing you can do to keep that from happening. I'm going to cut the tail off of that one. Oh, I know. Well, we'll just pop that in there. I was wanting to put this in somewhere. I don't know if I will or not though because I just don't know if it really if there's really a space where it can can go. Okay and then I think I want to put this bow in right there. It's a pretty little pink bow. And then I'm going to take one of my flowers from uh, Kiki's, either that or one of these little white flowers. Let me see which one I want to use. Let me cut this white flower off and then I'll grab one of my Kiki's flowers. I just need a small flower for the center of that bow. Sorry about the crackling, you guys. I know some people really, really hate that. There we go. So I'm either going to use that or this little white flower. And I honestly like this flower. This is one of the flowers I get from Kiki's. It's a little paper rose but it really looks nice in the center of that bow just like that it kind of makes the flowers flow maybe we'll put that actually that might look good right in the center there let's see That's a little bit yellow actually for this. So we're going to leave it just like that. And then I also had I had this flower that I was actually considering putting in there, but I don't think 
I'm going, oh, it looks really pretty in the center of that. I have some smaller ones. Now, let me see if a smaller one would be better. This is another one from Kiki's. And I hope you've all been to Kiki's by now and um, signed up or joined the group. And if you've been unable to get into the group, just give it some time. Debbie will get to you. Um, but she tries not to put too many people in at one time because she doesn't like for people to not have the opportunity to buy stuff. And if she gets too many people in there then and doesn't have enough stuff for everybody, then she feels bad. So she, she doesn't want to prevent anybody from being able to get what they want. This is one of my white flowers that I make. This is just a paper flower, and I made some of these the other night. Actually, I put this one together this morning. Cut it yesterday and put it together this morning, but these are so pretty. I love these flowers. I was thinking about using this somewhere on this, but I don't know with that rose. It kind of goes. It's not too bad. And it doesn't cover up a whole lot of this. It's just kind of in the center where there's no beads. And it looks kind of pretty there. Actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and I am going to use that right there. And I was thinking about using a couple of little pieces of this to go there and then a piece over on this side. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that because I do like the way this looks and I fully wanted to use this in this project. So I'm going to just glue this one on first. And then I'll just go across here. And that looks really pretty. And we'll cut four off of this side. first one to give me a start and then we can go across the rest of the way uh oh okay and then I want to put a couple of pieces over here. And for that, we're just going to cut two off. And we'll cut two off on this side. across there all right and let's see now to figure out I have got so much stuff over here it's insane I gotta move some of this stuff out of my way it's, there's just way too much Still haven't decided on that. I'm not going to use that. And I'm done with those. Done with that. Okay. 
So, what I need to decide now is, do I want to use these pearls, which I'm starting to lean towards these pearls instead of the big ones, only because I feel like these big ones might just be too much and too heavy. What I was going to do is have them sort of go across like that and have one strand a little longer than the other one and come across like that. And that actually is very, very pretty. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try it, you guys. What the heck? Why not? So, and then we will put something up in this corner. But for now, let's just get this going here. I'm going to pop one pearl there. And I'm just going to push one of those strip bows kind of down on top of it as well to give it a good stick like that and then we need to put the other one in there Okay, so now we just need to decide how to attach them on the other side and make them look good. I think what I might like to do too is to put one little piece of this other pearl strand and have it kind of coming through the middle of it. So we are going to cut a little piece of that off and glue it in right there. Okay. And then we have to decide now. Pull that away and we can put that away. Aha. Uh -huh. I forgot about that. So we can go with that. Or we could go with that, which that actually looks very, very good. But we are missing one little rhinestone from there. But that is okay because what I can do and what I was thinking of doing is maybe adding something like that to sort of, probably not that. Let's see, what else do I have? I've got this nice little, yeah, that's nice and, and uh, I was going to say petite, but it is petite. It's not real heavy. So, here's what we need to do. I'm going to move these pearls aside, and we are going to, oh boy, we are going to find our strips, which I probably have thrown aside. Let me put my pearls away. I'm going to completely get these off of my table here. Okay. Oh, they're right here. Okay. So first things first. We are going to attach the hanger. So I'm just going to I know you guys cannot see all of this, and I'm sorry for that, but I will make sure that before the end of this, you get to see 
a good portion of it. And we're going to put some glue up there as well. And where's my other strip? Oh my, I can lose things so quickly around here. Oh, what did I do with it? I just had it in my hand, you guys. And you're probably seeing it going, there it is, Carol. There it is. <laughs> My goodness. Okay, so now what I need to do is get some of this glue off of here and glue this down right there. So let me go across there. go whoops I'm sorry about my head you guys once again that makes me so mad that I do that because I don't want anybody to see how awful my roots are and then we're gonna flip this over and now you guys will see the back of this so this is the back and we're just going to take this, and I do want it to be relatively close. We're just going to go like this, and like this at the end of that hemline, and that's where we're going to glue that down. There, just like that. And the other side will be easier because we've got some glue and stuff stuck to this. The other side will be easier because it's flat. So again, I'm just going to put some more glue in my glue gun. I'm going to put a line right there and a line right there. And I'm just going to go right along that hem, just like that. Okay, so that's what it looks like on the back. We don't need to decorate the back because there's really no purpose. So this is what we've got on the front. Isn't that gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous? And this, you can see, my hanger has a little bow on it and stuff, too. I may do some decorating of that as well. All right, so now I just need to determine the length on these. Because this is going to be the longer one, and I think I want them to come... But I want to make sure that that one definitely hangs longer. Kind of like that. And then this one will come up between the two and go right there. So that's kind of what I'm going for, you guys. So let's just go ahead and Put a nice big dollop of glue right there. And I should put that one in between. There. And that's kind of a mess right there, but that's okay. I could go like this and just put that up there, but I don't think that looks nearly as nice. as if I do this along with that flower right there just like that I think that looks absolutely gorgeous or maybe 
just like that. I might actually come up with one more piece of bling to add to this as well. I'm going to cut off these extra bits that are on here. And we're going to glue this guy down. And we're going to use quite a lot of glue. And that's going to go right there. Okay. And then let's just make sure. No, well, that's not pink, so that won't work. I wish that didn't have that gray in it. I could cut that off. And then that could go like that. That actually looks really pretty. That's too much. I had this pretty dangle as well that I was actually planning on using somewhere in this and I just never got around to even testing it out. Um, or what else did I have? I've got this one. No, nope. not crazy about that. No, I don't want that. Um, okay, you guys. I honestly really, really like that. I think that looks nice on there, but I do not like this piece of gray that's in there, so I am actually going to cut that out so that it doesn't poke out. And I don't want that piece of it either. I'm sorry, little flower. And that's going to go right there. I hope you guys like that. <laughs> but I think that looks really nice with those pearls on there. go. That looks nice there. And I think maybe we need a little piece of bling over here. What do you think? Let's see, maybe coming out right there. That looks nice. I have to say, you guys, this is probably one of the most elaborate pieces I've ever done. <laughs> this is crazy. Um, and then I do have, of course I don't know what I did with it. I just saw it. Oh, this, this little heart. And I was really honestly thinking I would like to hang it from somewhere and have it just kind of coming out, draping out somewhere, but you know, I don't think, oh, you know what? I am going to add that little flower in there because it actually looks good next to that one. 
I think that just kind of finishes it off. Okay, now let's get, remember we were going to put this on here, so I've got that to go from there to there. So let me put some glue back behind this so that I don't cause any fraying. I really did want to use this in here and I could cut those and make them separate and put one on this side and one on this side because I really do think it it pulls the whole thing together let's go ahead and get this piece on here real quick I know initially I was going to put um, pink lace kind of going across here but I think I decided I mean I could go here now that we've got that center and then put this on top of that but I don't think that's really necessary I kind of like the white on white so we're just going to go with the initial plan And put that right from there to there. There we go. And I'm going to cut these out. I'm going to lose that little center flower. We don't need it. And we're going to go right there. And right there. And I think that finishes it off very, very nicely. Okay. I like that because it's got the beads in it. That might have been really, really pretty there, though. Look at that. Woohoo! Look at that. Nope. I'm not going to use that again. I'm going to leave that out. I had that I was thinking about using on it too, but that doesn't really work. It's too too much pearls and lace, and that would kind of mess it up, I think. Oh, I did have this little angel, and I really, I got this from Debbie over at Kiki Sale, and I really, really wanted her to get in here somewhere. So, 
Let's see, where could she go? I could put her right in there with the flowers or maybe next to that one. That looks cute. Or just kind of somewhere floating around. She's really going to look cute anywhere I put her. This side, this poor side feels like it got neglected a little bit. I feel kind of bad. But that's usually kind of the way I do things. I One side always is more elaborate than the other side. And that's just, I kind of like doing things that way. Um, so I generally do that on purpose. But sometimes you just feel like something's missing when you do that. I was going to put some of these pearls in there somewhere too. I would like to put some in around these flowers down at the bottom. So I'm just going to take that. I'm going to take my glue and Pop these in there. I'm going to pop one there. And I like to take these and just kind of go around and kind of where they fall, that's where I glue them in. And this one, just like that. It's like wherever it kind of naturally wants to go is what I like to do. And this one, I'm going to go right here. I think I'll put this one right there, just like that. And then we may need to take this one and just kind of give it some help to stay down a little bit. <clears throat> there we go. I really like that. All right, you guys, let me pull everything away from this as best as I can. And see if I can get you guys a decent view of this thing. And I am really, really thrilled with it. I'm going to try and adjust my camera. So give me just a second, you guys. Don't get sick on me. There, at least now you can kind of see more of it. So that is it, you guys. Let me get this bird off of here. Okay. Oh, I forgot about my butterfly. I definitely wanted to get my butterfly in there. Maybe I'll just put the butterfly in the center there. Yeah. Right there. Okay, there we go. All right, so that is it, you guys. We've got all of our little dangly lace down here. 
it looks really pretty and these dangles when I hold it up they're gonna they're gonna hang down nicely over that lace there and some of them stick out on the sides and stuff so that's kind of cool but that is it isn't it gorgeous and we still have we have our pockets totally usable two pockets so you can see those and our pretty little crocheted hanger which I love dearly and oops I forgot to glue the angel down oops oops and I do think she needs to go Ooh, you know what she could go right in the center of that butterfly oh, see things happen for a reason there we go now we have a home for our little angel there we go oh I'm so excited so let me get these untangled there so you can see oh, let me let those dangle you can see how those pearls dangle in the middle looking very very pretty isn't that gorgeous you guys I'm super happy with this this was super fun this was a super exciting project for me to do and I hope you guys liked it I have been working on putting this one together for a very long time um, well actually a few weeks I shouldn't say a very long time but a few weeks um, because I had gotten some stuff from my friend Deanna that just screamed to me that I needed to do a uh, pocket hanger and so this is the result so thank you Deanna thank you Gail thank you Debbie thank you everybody for all of the great bits and pieces that you have given me to go into this I'm gonna turn it this way now just in case I end up turning the camera around and isn't that gorgeous so um, anyway it just made me really happy to make this piece um, because like I said it's something that I wanted to do for a little while and and actually before I got that stuff I was thinking about wanting to do one but I had no clue how to do it and so now I kind of feel like I finally got my chance to um, to do something that I've really been wanting to do for a long time so that is it you guys in a nutshell that is my hang my pocket hanger thanks a lot for coming along for the journey um, if you're not subscribed to my channel um, I would greatly appreciate it if you did um, if not that's okay too um, give my video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this um make a comment down below because i'd really really love to know what you guys think of this and those comments believe it or not you guys they help my channel so much um to uh get me in the right place in the algorithms so that youtube puts me in front of more um, viewers so um, i would very much like to increase my audience and the way that I can do that is with the help of my current subscribers. So you guys, if you wouldn't mind um, helping me out, just uh, make those comments. Thanks so much. And everybody have a great day. God bless you and take care. Be well and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. Stay tuned for pictures over there or over there. Bye guys.